Hi guys, welcome to a new FDM Y21 video and today we are joined by Leia who is going to help us show you around another, I say new addition, it's actually a current um, member of our fleet, another Skoda favourite which is a GLX IE and we're introducing you to her here, Chips. So, Owen and Leia have already introduced you, and Leia was going to do the walk around, but she uh, wandered off, so Owen's gone to take her over there. But this is Chips. So, I bought Chips a few months ago because I thought that he was a maker, not a breaker, and I was worried he was going to be a breaker. Basically, this car had the typical Skoda problem, a head gasket failure, and the old owner had had to take it off the road. It's also a little bit rough around the edges, which I will show you. Um, and I was worried this guy was going to get scrapped, and I thought, no, you know what? Let's see if we can save it. And I bought it for a good price. And finally, we have fixed the problem. Now, Owen's going to go over the problems because Owen's the one who does all the fixing like that. But I just thought I'd talk you over why I bought this car and mainly, you know, like the model and things like that as well. So Chips is a GLX IE Flare Line Edition. Now, if you've watched our previous video, you'll know that my other favourite is an LX IE Plus Flare Line Edition. This is the model above it. So as I showed you in the last video, it should have the clear lights that I've now got on Kelly, which are like an upgrade option. But I've put the ones that were on Kelly on here now. You also get the lower spoiler and the rear spoiler. There's probably just option extras. It's probably not for the car, but it does have both. Obviously, you also get the flare line sticker, ignoring the rust down there. You do get the optional extra alloy wheels, whereas on Kelly, we have the steel wheels. She has now got new wheels fitted, as I'm sure you saw in our video. And then if you come in here, got the slightly nicer upgraded seats, slightly different steering wheel, and you also get the sunroof. Now, in my last video where I showed you Kelly the favourite, I said that a lot of these cars sadly suffered from the dreaded rust problem, and this car is a good example of one that has, but is hopefully savable because obviously I've now got it running. So this one, I think it doesn't help that it's white. It's become quite crusty. Um, we have found one part which will need welding in the MOT, which is due in October but we will be fixing that and we will obviously get the car up on a ramp and we'll check if there is anything else just to make sure it's okay. But yeah, a lot of it is mainly surface rust. So my idea is to sand it back and get it all painted. I say mainly it's around the arches and on the doors. But as I say, he, he was cheap and I think he deserved the second chance. And you know what? I've only driven him for an hour or two today because I just took out the insurance for the day. But yeah, he's been a lovely little car to drive and I think um, Owen and Andy came out in it earlier and I think they both quite liked him despite the few little faults which I will get Owen in to explain. And here I am. So this car came to us in a working state, although Georgina then added water to the system, which then came out as a water oil mix of the dipstick hole, which is not ideal at all. Now, the previous owner did tell us it had a head gasket failure, and he was definitely right. That was one of the problems. We took apart everything, and the head gasket was well and truly disintegrated. So everything was cleaned up, new head gasket went on, and while we were there, we also had a new thermostat put on, new alternator belt, new spark plugs. When everything was back together, we had new oil, new water, and lo and behold, it mixed again. And at this point, I was very worried that we had either a warped head or a dropped liner or something that was obviously calling us to causing us to mix again. And in the end, drained all the fluids again and went to go and take off the head again. Um, and as I had the rocker, cover off i could see that there was actually a core plug missing and the core plug goes between the oil and the water which um it's possibly a strange design i'm not sure i've not seen it before but um, one of the skoda guys mentioned it to me in the group and i just obviously had to have a look while i was there potentially taking the head off and when we saw it there we were like hang on that must be our issue so we've just been waiting on a core plug which has now arrived and uh, we've put the core plug in and put everything else back together put new oil in, put new water in, and it started right up. Not a problem at all. So we've been enjoying this car today. It's been great to have it out. And there's a couple of other little 
uh, little niggles to fix, such as you know bits of paint, and the clutch cable needs either adjustment or uh, or replacing, as it's uh, it's not ideal. When you come off the clutch, you sort of have to pull the pedal back up uh, because the I believe the cable is not disengaging properly. It may be an adjustment issue. It may need a new cable. Either way, we will look at that. And there's a few other things we want to just fix up um, as we go along. But overall, it's here, and that's. That is the main thing because obviously we didn't know if it was going to survive before so we're very happy to have it in this state and driving around. And yeah we just thought we'd do a super quick video on this car because it's only insured for me today. It might come out next Sunday again actually because we're planning to take the two Skodas and the Wartburg on our Young Retro Motor Club drive out which you're all welcome to come to just have a look on Facebook and we're hoping we can take this guy out again because he is now taxed. But yeah we'll show you more videos you know maybe when we tidy it up we'll give them a video again and maybe when we've got the other things fixed but yeah aside that just a quick little video and it's goodbye from us and it is and goodbye from Leia.